Can we find the name brand can? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're going back on tour. We might be hitting your town this week or yep. in November. To find out and to get tickets, go to rhettandlinklive.com before they're sold out. It's Labor Day. And to me, the most honorable form of labor is building a survivor list bunker for you, your family, and maybe one other friend. You know, somebody cool, charming, handsome, like Ellie's boyfriend, Pat, and nobody else. <laughs> I thought you said survivor list bunker. I which might doesn't have. make any sense. I might have. Survivor list. Anyway, stocking your post-apocalyptic pantry can get expensive fast, so today we'll be seeing if we can blindly pick out popular name brands of canned goods or if we're being overcharged for our non-perishables. It's time for Knock Off Knock Out Canned Food Edition. Okay, so we're gonna be playing this just like our previous beverage and condiment trials. In each round, we're gonna have four bowls of food from cans in front of us. And right. one will contain a big name brand that we all know, and the other three will have some variety of store brand or generic versions of that same type of canned food. We're gonna be competing to correctly guess the name brand, and then whoever loses has to eat a mystery item that mythical chef Josh pickled and canned himself. Let the tasting begin. Round one. All right, we got four different canned raviolis. One of them is Chef Boyardee. Mm. Just looking at them, Nothing, I don't recognize Chef Boyardee. These, you? Well, these three have meat bits. That one doesn't have meat bits. You wanna start with the non-meat bit one? Let's start with that, yeah. A little sweet in the sauce. If you told me that was Chef Boyardee, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. I, it's I actually, been a while since I think I that enjoyed one's Chef, Chef Boyardee, having only tasted that one. Nope. That's this be one's way better. Meat forward. You know? Yeah, my nickname in high school. But, <laughs> um, but that, um, it is, you taste, taste this way better, I way taste, better. I taste the meat before I taste just some sweet sauce. Oh, sorry. Mm. Oh, that one's got a super manufactured taste. Like, yeah, this one's still the tastiest. Like the can has leached into the food, which will happen with all post-apocalyptic foods. Now this one looks like it should be good. Yeah, this looks gourmet. These are plumper, smaller ravioles. That's tasty. Man, but is it better than this one? Now that one tastes a little dog foodish. I think this one's the best one. Agreed. That's the best one, but does that make, make it Chef Boyardee? Yeah. That's the question. That's right. We ain't picking the best. Okay, flags up. Uh, Here we go. In three, two, one. I'm I'm going for the, the first sugary one. I think Chef Boyardee has bits in it, man. <clears throat> Let us have it, Stevie. The Chef Boyardee is in bowl three. Oh. The one that tasted horrible. I mean, I, I didn't say it tasted horrible. I did, and I'll say it again. So the other ones from left to right are, well, from my left to right, <laughs> are 365 Whole Foods, Walmart's Great Value, and Kroger. So this is Kroger. Kroger's yep. good, but what? Get hey, that Kroger, y'all. But Walmart's coming through pretty strong as well. Round two. On the canned sweet corn, because it's much better to buy canned corn than it is to go out and try to pick your own, because of the, the children that are out there. Yeah. You know, the, of the corn. Yeah, of the, of the you corn. You know, you don't want them to get you, they did bite you. you. Did you, you haven't watched that, have you? Uh, I've heard you, of you it. You should watch that with me. Um, all right, so we are looking for the Del Monte. I don't know if that means anything to me. I mean, I've had I've had canned corn, but I don't know if my mama served me Del Monte, or Del Monte is what I think you say. That's a crispy corn. We used to fish with corn. Anybody ever do that? No. In my uncle's pond, you would catch the brim if you put corn on your hook. This is a lighter yeah. shade of corn. It has less color. Not trying as hard, not as sweet either. This is big ag. Big egg? Big egg. It's probably all big egg. But that's real big egg. You gonna gag on a big egg? I discern no difference between one and three. Does you? I mean, I like corn though. And four also has the same color. Maybe a little darker, richer yellow. Less sweet again. So watery, like one, one and three are basically identical, seemingly in every way. And two and four are both not very good. I would not call that big ag because it's not as appealing looking or tasting. And you know how they like to engineer stuff. 
So I would think that's the most natural because it's underwhelming. You're probably right. Um, Maybe well, I like which, Big Ag after all. Which one is Del Monte? Hmm. Mm, okay. Okay, Rhett. It's kind of a toss up. You've for eaten me. a lot of corn. I just want to keep eating corn because I want to see what happens to my poop. <laughs> you don't know what happens. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, right. That happens. Three, two, one. Okay, it was between one and three for Had me. Had to be right. The Del Monte sweet corn is in bowl one. Yeah, oh, lucky dog. You just got lucky. No, you, no. you almost voted for three, right? No, I the one that and they did taste the had best. the most nostalgic taste to me, and I didn't know whether it was because I tasted it first or not was number one. So I just went with my. Instincts, so what's man. three, which tasted just as good? The others from two on are Dollar General's Clover Valley, crappy Clover Valley, Costco's man, keep Kirkland that. Signature, and Target Simply Balance. So Costco is is coming pretty strong. Yeah, it is. Clover Valley, don't ever visit it. Round three, it's tuna time. What? Incidentally, canned tuna is the best-selling canned good worldwide. We're trying to figure out which one of these is star kiss. Chicken of the sea? Yep. You know, pigeon is the rat of the air. Um, That's true. So, this is a dark one. Dark meat tuna. Pretty strong. This one's super white. This is like a it different. Like, it looks like a chicken breast. It's different. This is a different thing. I think one of them might be albacore. Well, I missed the face with that. Mm -hmm. I missed the face. That's pretty good. Much less fishy. Probably not as good for you. You know, it probably doesn't have as many oils in it. Yeah, it's very dry. Those kinds of things that are supposed to be good for you. Also pungent. The most pungent so far. It's pretty mild. This is not easy, y'all. But there is one, and I, and I don't know, I actually eat quite a bit of tuna, and the Starkist is the brand that I get, but I get those little packs that have like the seasoning built into them, because mm. I like to make life exciting. They got, they got ranch flavored tuna. Seriously? Yeah, sign me up for that. This is this has got to be too fancy. I mean, yeah. this stuff here. That's definitely not it. It's 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 either one, three, or four. Thank you, Rhett, for not okay. helping me at all. Which one go. are you thinking it is? I'm not gonna tell you. Just tell me. No. In put... Three, two, one. Oh ah. yeah. <laughs> that that's the one that it feels. I thought it might be one. The most nostalgic again. That's what I'm just going off of. The nostalgia. Okay. The Star Kiss tuna is in bowl. Three. Ah. Oh, really? That was actually my least the, favorite The one. most pungent. So yeah. if you want to go milder, what the do we have in are one? Walmart's Great Value, mm -hmm. Costco's Kirkland Signature. Costco's totally different. Costco's got and white tuna. Kroger. So Kroger is four. Kroger nope. is four. Yes. Yep. Nope. Yep. Kroger. Bringing it, y'all. Round four. Okay, if you're a true prepper, then you're getting ready for Thanksgiving in August. Right. So we've got four jellied cranberry sauces in front of us. We gotta pick out the ocean spray and clear up some UTI. That's right. Now, I don't know about you, but I love cranberry sauce and I prefer it to look like it came out of a can. My wife likes to do this fancy stuff that takes a lot, a lot of time, it's got other ingredients. I'm like, baby, just give me the can. Now this one is the danciest. Second danciest, firmest, second firmest. And real dance. Does that mean anything to you? Nope. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Oh, that's very firm, almost grainy. It's got a better. It actually is this less more authentic taste. This has got more real cranberry in yeah. it, which I don't think means it's ocean spray. I mean, they're both very tangy. The first one's, again, this it tastes one, like juice. It's not nearly as strong. That tastes like it's watered down, man. Yeah. And also it doesn't have good ridges. But it dances. I like to have good ridges in my. Oh. Don't touch my, you know, I don't want to. You don't want what I've touched? I don't, I don't want your germs, man. Okay. That's very sweet. Man. One in four have a lot of infused sweetness. Whereas number two is just unabashedly cranberry-esque. I think this is, this 
this tastes like specialty. This is uh, man, it can't be two. Is there a problem with eating too much cranberry in, in like one sitting? Nah, man, you especially with how unsanitary your urethra is. You need to eat all of it. And it's real dirty. Um, okay, ready? Three, two, one. It's either one or four. I do feel confident about that. The ocean spray cranberry sauce is in bowl number four. Yes! Dang it, Rep. Again, I think at the 50-50s, you're getting lucky. Oh, so, but you think I'm getting lucky? You, you're just guessing. Just a, give me the credit where the credit is due, man. I know my, my cans. The others what, contain what's it, one? Kroger. Kroger's good. Walmart's great value. Oh, hold on. This is Walmart? Well, mm -hmm. I tell you, Walmart brings it hard. That that and seems legit. Aldi's Sweet Harvest. Not good. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, stay away from the Sweet Harvest. Aldi. You got to put money in to get a cart at Aldi's. Yeah, I don't believe in that. Stingy. Feels, but then you get the, I think you get it back when you return the cart. Communist. Who returns the cart? Yeah. Round five. Okay, last but not least, we're out to hunt down a canned good near and dear to my heart, Bush's Baked Beans. Okay. Listen, you 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 have a lot on the line. I mean, I've this already is not won the about game. winning. This is about your pride. And, and let me just say that while I do enjoy Bush's baked beans, I actually usually get be I I make my own beans quite a bit, um, and then You're my hedging. my wife will get the beans from like Trader Joe's, which are good. So I'm not immediately Let's see if you can pick those out. It isn't like oh that's Bush's. Now these look the most appetizing. These look the second most appetizing. I'm about to cough. <coughs> Thanks for the warning. I didn't want to cough on your beans. Um, these look. They, these look like they forgot the bush. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's like all beans, no bush. But the beans have a nice pop. <laughs> not a lot of taste. No, it's not good. <laughs> I mean. There's a couple ways to take that now that I'm thinking about it. Really, there's one way to take it. Um, Those are better because they got more syrup in them. Much more syrupy. What do we have here? These are very syrupy. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's mm. a good bean. Mm -hmm. It's a real solid bean. As a bean man, I can tell you, that's a good bean. I'm talking about the sauce itself is the most flavorful. There's there's some things there's some action happening. The other ones it's just kind of like hmm. they lean too heavily on just the bean. That's a good bean, not as good as this bean. Is that smoky or does it taste like cleaner? It's got more molasses in it. I do not like the taste of those beans. These are kind of tasteless. Huh? I don't know what this is, but this is the best bean. Can we agree on that? Clearly the best bean. Heads again, above. I don't know enough about. Bush's baked beans to know if that's what Bush's tastes like. But I think Bush's would have, I mean, how could they have such a great reputation if they weren't really good? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, yeah. It's gotta be those. It's, it's gotta not, be those. And they're, 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 they're uh, far and away the best. Okay, the Bush's baked beans are in bowl number four. Oh, oh. really? Yeah, there's something yeah. odd about that. So what, what's in three? Well, let me let me do what I've been doing. You can't do it the other from, way. Yep. You can't tell me what's in um, three. No, Just, I'd like to save that. I like to save three for after one and two. Yep. Um, Typically. Target Target Simply Balance. Yeah. Simply don't buy these ever. Yeah. Uh -uh. Dollar General's Clover Valley. Dollar uh, again, General. We already sucks. know about the Clover Valley. We don't visit it. And Kroger. Kroger guys. Man, y'all. Kroger come. Come on, let's hang out. And Kroger is also Ralph's, right? Doesn't Kroger own Ralph's? Yeah. So, I mean, Ralph's, Ralph's, you can get them at Ralph's if you're out here on the West Coast. Man, I'm so proud of you, Krog. Great beans. Kroging it up. All yeah. right, Link, you know what you get to enjoy in Good Mythical More? Something I don't know nasty. what it is, but I hope it's real bad. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Shelby, and we're about to do an experiment with spam that we think you should do too. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. All right, we'll take note. <laughs> no promises. Click the top link to watch us try mystery canned foods and good mythical more. And to find out where the mythicality is going to land. Did you know that we have our own Amazon store? Get classic and exclusive mythical goods with prime shipping at amazon.com slash mythical.